Hey friends, so I want to talk a little bit about breathwork today. With this coronavirus challenge that we're all facing and uh, being in our homes and dealing with the, the uh, shutdown of so many systems, um, we're faced with new levels of like nervous system or new types of nervous system stress, perceptual stress, emotional stress, physical stress. So uh, breathwork is like a key piece for me to ground myself and keep what I like to say is keep my system more fluid because I'll tend to get tense internally unconsciously if I don't practice breath work and keep my system like really fluid and online and present I'll start to like get in the future or get in the past or really get uh, micro focused on and uh, negative thought spirals so um, I want to share my primary go-to breath work practice um, and follow along and do this with me if you'd like it's, it's a, a double inhale and then an exhale. <clears throat> you can follow along with the hand motions and you can do this, uh, you could do it standing also in like a horse stance. Um, so, and you could do it lying, seated or standing, I'll demo seated, but feel free to follow along with me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an inhale down in the pelvis, two breaths just to practice, right? So really breathing down, really letting go of like, the pelvis can kind of squeeze like a clamp if we're like holding unconscious stress, meaning we don't know that we're holding stress. Um, so if we're doing that, our pelvis can kind of clamp down the SI joints in the back, the pubic synthesis, the pelvic floor, and we can, we can be like holding a lot of tension there through the psoas and not breathing down and down into the pelvis and up into the chest, which every breath should really move these structures gently. The whole system, the whole body should really breathe as we move and as our breath suppresses, as we're suppressing things in our system, feelings, emotions, thought streams, um, our system tends to like clamp down. I know, I know that mine does. So we're gonna breathe not out into the belly, but down into the pelvis first. So go ahead and practice two breaths with me if you'd like. Okay, so we'll exhale. And then we'll inhale here with the nose into the deep pelvis. Really feel your scrotum, your perineum, your pelvic floor really drop and relax. Through a soft jaw, exhale. Again. And exhale. And we'll do the second part of the breath, which is a mouth inhale up into the floating ribs, the rib cage, the back thoracic, the front sternum, into the heart space. Okay? The mouth can be like an oval, or it can be more of like a through the throat, the back of the throat, whatever feels best to you. So, really focusing on the back body. And then we'll put it together for two breaths. Okay, so we'll do this for for a minute and then we'll follow it with an exhaled hold. Here I'll only hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. I want you to hold as long as you can, just like you would if you were doing the Wim Hof method, um, if you're familiar with that breath. And then you would take an inhale, the same style that we were just doing, when you need to inhale, it'll be a... Hold for 15. <sighs> exhale, shake your system out. And so I'll go over that when we finish. So we'll do this for a minute, a one minute breathe up. So if you're in a position where you can do this right now, go ahead and find, you can, you can go into a horse stance position, which is, which is like a knees pointing forward, tailbone driving down, and then you can follow the arm movements. If that feels best. I'll use it this way a lot in between um, work when I'm like sitting at my computer and I need to get energy into my legs, I'll use that. Um, if you'd like to practice seated and it's more of a meditative practice, you can do without the hands and just really focus on the core of the body and the mechanics of what's happening inside of you, where you're breathing into, where you're breathing from, where there's uh, tension and where there's, there's openness. All right, or you can do this lying down. Um, if you tend to get lightheaded, do it lying down. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. 
and um, we'll all exhale empty first. Exhale. Okay, and go, inhale. breath. Relaxing as much as possible, everything deep inside the core channel of your body. Okay, let's all inhale together. Inhale. Holding. And exhale. Just shake everything out. You've got to move your hips, move your pelvis, move your spine, shake the arms out. Anywhere that you might be feeling like you're holding tension, just feel what moved in your system. Maybe bend and bow the spine a bit. Okay, so when I do this, I'll normally do the, the breathe up. That was an abbreviated version. I'll normally do the breathe up for, for two minutes and then I'll do a hold. So um, I want to invite you to go ahead and you know integrate this into your normal daily habits. Um, can be great to do in the morning as an invigorating practice, as a grounding practice. If you're waking up with anxiety, um, I mean, really, any time that you find that your system, your nervous system needs some modulation, um, I use it throughout my day, consistently, many, many times a day. I'll do a set or. You know, I'll just stand up from my workstation and do uh, 10 breaths and then sit and drop in and then continue working. So it's a really easy um, kind of slide it into your life and just remind yourself, oh yeah, I have a tool here. I have a, a way that I can drop my nervous system and really be more present in the moment. And already I feel just in that one set, short set, I feel some warmth and I feel like the external like shell of my skin system has like really softened um, how do you feel so thanks for joining um, I'll definitely be sharing more movement and breath practices as we go through this um, global challenge and uh, I just want to support all of us to have be more well resourced internally and uh, together as a community so that we can come out of this um, in a way that uh, is is changed in a good way uh, and to do that, I think we need to really have practices that keep us fluid and present and in our bodies so that we can really be with ourselves. So, um, lots of love. Thanks for tuning in. Aloha.